A standard size golf ball has a diameter of 1.680 inches. The material used to make the golf ball weighs 0.6523 ounces per cubic inch. What is the weight to the nearest hundredth of an ounce of one golf ball? Again, a lot of words. It's a density question because I see this word per right here. All right, so I want to write down density equals mass over volume. I actually have the density. The density is 0.6523, okay? Now, it wants the weight, so the mass is going to be X. I need to find the volume. It doesn't give me the volume. It gives me a golf ball, which is a sphere. So volume equals four-thirds pi r cubed. But then it tells me that the diameter is this. I don't want the diameter. I want the radius. So 1.680 divided by 2. All right, which I think I can do in my head, but let's uh, It's uh, 0.84, I think. 0.84 wanted to prove that I could do it in my head. 0.84 is the radius. So that needs to go in here. So 4 thirds pi times 0.84 to the third power. So alpha y equals 4 thirds times pi times 0.84. So 2.48 That's my volume. So now that number, and I'm not going to mess with it. I'm going to leave it. That number should go right there. And then I'm going to cross multiply, and I'm going to get x equals, and it's going to be that number right there in yellow times the 0.6523. So that number times 0.6523. And I should get 1.619. 1 1.619. And it says nearest hundredth of an ounce which means there, so 1.62, all right? Now, if I had rounded this to 2.48, I don't think it would have made a difference. Let's just see. And it doesn't. It does make a difference, but your rounding would end up being the same, and so you wouldn't get marked off for that. But again, be very careful. If this first number came out to be 1.616, and you had done the rounding before, you would have gotten a different answer. All right, and that's where you get hung up on this. So don't round until the end. We've said it all year, but let's keep trying to remember it.